Hi everyone, it's great to have you back here at EaseUs. Today I'll show you how to clone your old hard drive to a new SSD. Upgrading to a new SSD may be challenging, so make sure you don't skip any steps and avoid issues like data loss. Honestly, all that talk about cloning drives and transferring data sounded arduous, but it's not as tricky as it seems. Upgrading to a new SSD was the best decision I made for my PC. Not only did it make my computer way faster, but I successfully kept all my files and programs intact. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more helpful videos like this one. Connecting the SSD First, let's connect the new SSD. In this video, I'm using a laptop, but if you're working with a desktop, the process is quite similar. For laptops, you'll need a USB 3.0 cable or an adapter to connect the SSD externally. Plug one end into the SSD and the other into your laptop. Once connected, the SSD will power on. If you want to install the SSD as an internal drive in your laptop, search for a YouTube tutorial that matches your laptop model. Now, we need to initialize the SSD. To do this, open Disk Management. If you're not sure how to open it, let me guide you. First, press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard to bring up the Run dialog box. Type in diskmgmt.msc and press Enter. This will open Disk Management. Make sure the partition style matches your current hard drive, either MBR or GPT. To check, right-click your current drive, go to Properties and look under the Volume tab for the partition style. It will either be MBR or GPT. Remember this because your new SSD's partition style needs to match. Once confirmed, right-click the new SSD, choose Initialize Disk, Select the correct partition style and click OK. Your SSD is now ready. Now let's move to the main step, which is cloning your drive. We'll use Ease Us Disk Copy, a beginner-friendly and reliable tool that makes the process smooth and hassle-free. Its cloning speed is up to 2000 MBs per second and there is no data loss during the process. What I personally found incredible about EZUS Disk Copy is that 24-hour technical support is available if you face any difficulties or need to ask questions. I've included the download link in the description below, so be sure to get it there for easy access. After downloading, install and activate the software. Open it and select Disk Mode. Choose your source disk, it could also be your current drive. What you need to remember is that the data on the destination disk or your new SSD will be completely erased. So double check that it doesn't contain anything you need. Here's an option called sector by sector copy. This creates an exact replica of your drive, including all sectors and disk structural information. Use this if you want a 100% identical copy, but keep in mind that the target SSD must be the same size or larger than your current drive. After choosing the source disk, now select the target one, which is your new SSD. Then hit next. And EZUS Disk Copy gives you three cloning options. First, auto fit the disk. This adjusts the partitions to fit the new SSD. This option is perfect if your new SSD has a different capacity than your old one. Now the second option is clone as the source. This simply clones the existing partitions without resizing. You can use this if you're upgrading to an SSD with an identical storage capacity. And if you want to adjust the layout yourself, Edit Disk Layout can help. Tick the box labeled Optimize for SSD to ensure the best performance for your new SSD. Once you've set everything up, click Proceed. Depending on the size of your data, the cloning process may take some time, so you need to wait patiently. When it's done, you'll have an exact copy of your old drive on your new SSD. To confirm, plug in the SSD, open it, and you'll see the drive name and all your files just as they were before. Boot from the new SSD. Cloning is complete. Now if you want to use the newly cloned SSD as the main disk, it's time to set your SSD as the boot drive. If you're using a desktop, connect the SSD using a SATA cable and power cable. For laptops, replace the old drive with the new SSD or just keep them both. Restart your computer and press F2 or the key specific to your system to enter the BIOS. Go to the boot order menu, select your SSD as the primary boot drive, save the changes and restart your PC. That's it! Your system is now running on the new SSD with improved speed and performance. Once your system boots up, open the file explorer to check the SSD. You'll see that everything, the drive names, files and even the structure is exactly the same as your old drive. 
No data loss, no missing files, just a faster and smoother experience. You've seen how to connect, clone, and boot from your new SSD step by step. If this video was helpful, give it a like and share your experience in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. See you in the next video.